in the building. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Q underscore L. And yes, and yes, and yes, I got scammed for a pair of LeBron 10s. I got scammed just because I didn't take the precautions in my last video. And if I would have did that, I wouldn't have got scammed. I got scammed. All right, there's all the way around it. I got scammed. I bought these shoes online. Yes, these are the LeBron 10s, um, the Elites. I bought these online. But if I would have took the precautions in my last video, that would have prevented everything you know so sometimes you gotta take your own advice and be smart and if you haven't seen that video check the description below and please watch the video because it's very helpful when you're shopping online and you're doing things online and you want to be trusted and you just want the product but um anyways i got food yes he got me um long story short on my behalf i'm going to get my money back so i'm not really too worried about it it was just a simple fact that I got scammed for these LeBron's tens. <clears throat> um, these aren't number one. They're supposed to be a size twelve, but they fit like a size ten. Um, anyway, just watch the unboxing. All right, y'all just watch the unboxing. You guys, let me know if you watch my other video. But like I said, check the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Q underscore L. I'm going to show you guys the unboxing. But like I said, just be careful. All right, so look what we got here. I ordered the LeBron 10s, the Elites. This unboxing is about to be amazing. Okay, we got some toilet tissue right here. Let's see what else we got here, fumbling. Yes. Here are the sh whoa whoa what is that? What is this on the shoe? Like the seller did not tell me about this. I me mean, hold on, is this even on the shoe? Hold on, hold on. Let me see if the other shoe is like that. Um, the other shoe looks good, but the how many I'm do these shoelaces? Now, I ordered these shoes online. I didn't take any of the precautions that was in my video. So, once again, check out my video and you can avoid damages like this. As you can see on the left, there's glue. There's like repair glue on the air bubble on the, um, the bottom of the LeBron 10s. Now, these are the elites. And um, I know with the regular LeBron 10s, it's a common. Trust me, it's common um, that that happens. But it's an issue when I go to buy it online and the seller doesn't mention that at all so once again please just check out my previous video check out the link in the description and that would um, save you time let alone me time just because if I would have took my own advice I wouldn't be in this situation right now now I got um, some LeBron's that number one the air bubble was popped out it's damaged that the seller didn't even tell me about or wasn't even a description and two these shoes supposed to be a size 12 but they fit like a size 10 so that's actually two sizes down and once again with these lebron 10s they are narrow so i wear a size 12 i should have at least got a size 13 or 12 and a half but i did not know that prior to buying these shoes so once again if you're going to order things online do your research do your research that way you can you can know if the shoe is you know if the sizes run big if they run small that way you know you'll know prior to um to the purchase but like i said um the air bubble was popped the seller did not even mention it um and be aware of the pictures that sellers do post because they will post pictures and the pictures will be from a low angle or high angle and they're trying to, they do it on purpose, that way they're trying to hide the problem of the shoe. Which in this case was the air bubble. So that was not mentioned in the description or anything else like that. But once again, if I would have took my own advice, I wouldn't have to go through this hassle. Now every time, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling on it right now, and it, it is just like regular glue. It's just like clear glue. It's not even on there correctly at all. You know what I mean? It's just glue there. And when I walk with the shoe, 
I don't know if you guys can't hear it, but when I walk, I can hear the air. Literally, the air presses, presses out of the shoe. Like, you can just hear the air pressure, and it sucks. You know, I can't even... I can't wear these shoes because you're going to hear air. You know, I can't even repair these shoes. The shoes look excellent. Don't get me wrong. The shoes look nice, but that air bubble. I just can't do it with the air bubble. And let alone, the shoes feel like they're two sizes down. So the moral, the moral of this story is be prepared. Like I said, number one, watch my video. Make sure you subscribe. Q underscore L. If this video helped, if my last video helped, just let me know. But like I said, Q underscore ill on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Check out my last video. The link is in the description. And if this helped anybody, just let me know. And if I did miss any tips, just let me know as well. I'm just done talking. You know, I'm very upset right now. So I'm just let this continue to vibe out, you know, because I'm just done. I can't do nothing with these shoes. Um, have a nice day to everybody.